and can you see my slides Good morning everyone. Am I audible? Can you can you see my slides? Uh, please respond in chat box uh, then only I can start the session. Okay, thank you, thank you, ma'am. Okay, now we are start the section. Okay, uh, yesterday we have discussed something about the second section because this second section we are going to discuss about uh, what are all the things are majorly asked in the part B questions. Part B questions are direct questions, near uh, somewhat direct questions because uh, that is uh, kind of principle theory based questions. So in that part we have uh, yeah, we have some uh, selected unit units for part B. For part B we are focusing unit one two uh, uh, unit two three then eleven and eight. So here uh, we have uh, four uh, six units in that. Uh, we covered one first and second units in the previous days now we have a small part of uh, unit 2 in this uh, unit 2 uh, after finishing that unit 2 we are uh, going to discuss about unit 3 that is the fundamental process dna replication or uh, replication or uh, transcription translation process like that first uh, before I enter the session we want to discuss about the gene yesterday itself i told First, we dis in the second unit, first the what is the cell membrane, then what are compounds present in the cell, cell. Then we are going to discuss about the gene. Now, we are going to discuss about what are the compounds present in the gene, how it is made up of, the, the, for the gene, made, for the gene manipulation, manipulation, editing or anything, we want to understand what is the gene. It's a single unit. The combination of genes is called as operon. This operon is transcribed into single, you know, transcribed in single transcript. It can produce single gene, single protein. So that is the operon. Then reg uh, regulon. The regulon control the process. That it process it's re regulate the process. Then modulon. It can be able to modulate the process. These are all the some uh, gene gene types hierarchies. Okay, then elements that is element as the plasmid, phage, chromosome, some anything. Then the this group of elements it uh, helps to form the genome. So this order is want to be maintained and it wa uh, the this order is very important because we know gene and genome. Okay, gene is a single unit group of gene is called as genome but not uh, uh, we are like include the intermediate uh, con uh, uh, words because these are very very important in the gene organization so I am let you know uh, gene it's a group of genes uh, linked genes or uh, regulation regulation of genes involves with the operons then regulons modulons then another important thing in the uh, 
gene organization so we are studying the gene organization right in the gene organization first of all we want to know what is the uh, inter inter uh, intermediates in the chromosome chromosome is not construct of the dna but uh, this construct uh, that in the dna construction we have different steps in between that what are all the steps uh, so we is first uh, we we want to understand that then only we can evaluate the uh, or estimate the gene function or gene and uh, regulation okay first dna having diameter 2 nanometer that 2 nanometer is the width of uh, double helix uh, we, we are all know dna is a double helix form one this double helix having the width is a 2 nanometer then this double helix uh, it's a form uh, it's uh, make a con uh, make a linear chain that form uh, uh, surrounded to the nucleosome okay the one uh, the nucleosome core this nucleosome core is uh, surrounded with the histone molecule this histone molecules uh, packed form that is the chromatosome uh, the one the first step is a dna alone after that dna is complexed with the histone that is called as nucleosome that histone complexed dna is uh, surrounded and uh, finished form is called as the chromatosome you can here you can see first is a dna molecule dna structure then you can here you can see the packed one this packed uh, histone packed uh, uh, is called uh, dna is called as the nucleosome this nucleosome is uh, in the in this histone complex uh, center parts they have uh, eight eight uh, nucleosomes and eight histones and uh, uh, that is packed wrapped by h1 histone that finally that dna is uh, wrapped that is uh, closed by the histone h1 histone then this whole term is called as the chromatosome okay then next step that diameter having the 11 nanometer then chromatosomes are folded and produce the 30 nanometer fiber here you can see that are arranged like a, a spring that uh, this small small regions are arranged like a spring this spring diameter is 30 nanometer the springs are forming the fiber that fiber called as 300 nanometer this fibers are forming a forming the uh, compressed and folded folded form here this is the flexible it's not compressed form then it forming the compressed and folded form it's called as the uh, this uh, this diameter is uh, 700 nanometer the width between one uh, uh, fiber is 2 and 250 nanometer width okay then it the for the compressed fibers are tightly coiled in uh, into the chromosome the tightly coiling is having nearly 250 nanometer nanometer size the tightly coiled dna's are forming the chromosome that chromosome whole structure is 1400 nanometer what is the important of this image is uh, one thing is the nucleosome how the nucleosome is formed the home forms formed with the histone that is wrapped with uh, h1 histone the diameter carries 11 nanometer another thing is uh, this uh, chromosome chromosome is having diameter 1400 nanometer how it is formed it's formed by uh, the are a sequential process of chromatosome uh, first one is nucleosome then chromatosome then fiber then only it's form as a chromosome the step is very important because they confuse with the uh, rearrangement of the answers uh, so first dna fiber dna Com complex with histone that is called as a nucleosome then second uh, gene organization is chromatosome 
and third is fiber formation then coil formation that coil forms the chromo chromosome these are all the sequential process that are very very important in the in the um, discussions okay uh, here are some uh, they may they've given or some name to the uh, that organization but uh, it's uh, dna alone is called as knacked dna if that is packed with the histone uh, yeah, i'm told right that uh, histones are packed these are all the, the pink color balls are histones uh, in upper there are four histones are there in lower four histones are there so totally eight histones are helps to form the that nucleosome finally h1 complex is uh, wrap the dna this uh, violet color is called as the h1 uh, if that uh, this uh, four eight packed histone called as nucleosome if that is uh, label locked with h1 histone means that called as chromatosome without h1 histone that is uh, only nucleosome if that is packed with histone means that is called as uh, chromatosome okay this okay this is a active gene this active gene is uh, packed here you can see uh, this are all arranged in a manner that uh, man uh, that is called as solenoid this solenoids are making the fibers this fibers uh, this uh, less active gene then this fibers are uh, making the chromatin this chromatins are arranged as a chromosome that chromatin formation is called as the interface uh, then chromosome formation is called as metaphase okay just remember this because uh, that uh, in the part b they are asking the uh, somewhat nearly theoretical question so that is also indirect manner uh, very easy questions are there so please uh, remember the terms and uh, what is the stages in the gene organization then only you can understand what happen in the um, a gene uh, regulation okay next uh, is a uh, first first slide itself i mentioned genes then gene are forming the chromosome operons then operons having the regulation so now we are going to discuss about the regulation of that uh, operons okay why need why we need it that uh, in that uh, operon they are having the reg reg uh, that sequential uh, genes this genes are helps to produce the regulate the uh, replicate or regulate the gene so it's uh, this operon uh, 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 the most uh, was explained as most repeatedly explained operon is lac operon and trip operon that is lactose based and tripton based another one is arabinose based arabino arabinose uh, that is the a r a operon uh, in upcoming slides we are going to discuss about the type of operons now what is the part of operon that having the regulatory gene it's having promoter it having operator then structural genes okay activation of this uh, uh, pro promoters helps to activate opera operators this operators are regulate the gene expression that gene expression helps to produce the uh, transcription that will start the process transcription it's a sequential process of operon then uh, in the first step i'm going to explain about the trip operon uh, the lac operon is well defined well studied one for uh, in this uh, presentation i may include the trip operon because its uh, process is well uh, it's a uh, understandable easy to understand so i am mentioned here if there is a trypsin high trypsin means there is no need of the gene production okay uh, that uh, gene that uh, no need of protein production 
so that our prunes are in off mode if there is a uh, when a uh, low drift on low drift of an drift of an means uh, that uh, cells need to proteins so that uh, si that pass the signals to opera uh, the operator and that operators are regulate the gene and produce the protein these are all the concept how can we understand uh, how can we tell the uh, tell about the tripoprot uh, high it's having a trip, tryptophan high and low okay in the cells itself they are uh, they are having the res they are re having the signal regulators right that signal operators uh, if there is a protein means that protein utilize the tryptophan and uh, uh, that tryptophan are uh, utilized by the protein so there is no tryptophan in the uh, cell otherwise uh, there is a high concentration here first concept is high high means there are no utilization process happen so there is no protein in the cell so we want to understand okay there want there is a need mm, so uh, that is uh, there is a no need for the production of gene if there is a low tryptophan means we need to understand okay there is a need for protein so we want to produce the uh, uh, transcript produce the gene so start the transcription process here another example if there is uh, uh, you can see here tryptophan absent uh, means it's a protein uh, it's a mrna uh, that's a mrna polymer rna polymerase here in this rna polymerase uh, it's attached to the opron region operator region this op this whole region is called as promoter region that uh, RNA is the RNA polymerase and operator. This both are called as promoter region. Uh, this having the genes. Gene trip uh, trip A, trip D, trip C and trip B, trip A. These are all having various functions. If uh, this you can see, uh, if there is an absence of tryptophan, there is a low uh, low drift up and low drift up and means that uh, signals are uh, there is no binding uh, that uh, here uh, it's a promoter activated by alone uh, that uh, repressor alone it's a repressor white molecule is called as the repressor protein I, the binding of repressor protein to the operator region it promotes the transcription process and that produce the mrna is a low con low concentration of tryptophan condition if there is a low concentration of tryptophan uh, the repressor protein alone bind to the operator region you can see here uh, this binding it makes a transcription process otherwise if there is a high concentration of uh, tryptophan in the cell cell means the tryptophan bind with the repressor repre repressor protein that repressor make an interaction with the operator this operator uh, passes the signal okay we have a tryptophan so no need to produce the uh, protein these are all the sequential process if there is an absence of tryptophan or low concentration of tryptophan in the cell that cell uh, that uh, active uh, that repressor protein alone bind with the operator that operator pass the signals to the gene okay we need uh, the tryptophan so produce the uh, protein so that uh, genes are start the transcription process otherwise there is a high concentration of tryptophan means that uh, tryptophan bound with the repressor protein so there is uh, some alterations in uh, repressor protein and uh, operon binding that binding makes a signal okay there is high concentration of tryptophan so need, need no need to produce the mrna uh, this is the concept in the regulation of uh, uh, tryptophan this is uh, leader attenuator region that region that uh,
called as gene production regulation is mediated by the le uh, leader attenuator region of uh, the gene here another thing is lac operon this lac operon is different concept than the trip operon here first one is uh, lac operon on con off condition and on condition first one is uh, off condition okay when it is in off mode uh, okay the first uh, you can uh, see okay the repressor is bound uh, it's bind to the promoter the binding of uh, repress promote uh, binding of repressor to the promoter it's uh, making a signal okay there is no need of uh, the production so we can stop the production otherwise uh, uh, there is the lactose present in the medium first case on the lac operon off mode there is no lactose that is the less lo uh, absence of lactose so that repressor is directly bound to the promoter okay there is no la no uh, lactose so no need to uh, produce the gene in uh, for on mode there in the uh, lactose are present in the media uh, cell that lactose are bound with the repressor that repressor is bound with the uh, there is uh, no active site binding on the repressor to promoter so promoters are okay there is a need for uh, the gene uh, need for the production of the gene so that is make a production you can see here here there is no lactose so that a repressor prevent the transcription so that is go and stop the uh, promoter here we have the lactose so that la repressor is getting inactivated due to the inactivation uh, there is a no binding happen at the this site so RNA, RNA is automatically bind to the promoter and make a transcription in the off mode there is no binding of RNA polymerase because in that place the uh, that uh, repressor is bind with the promoter so there is lacking of the RNA bind RNA is binding RNA polymerase binding uh, now you can understand I think uh, in that uh, uh, lac operon mode that lac operon uh, is activated based on the repressor here there is no uh, absence of uh, lactose absence of lactose uh, so the repressor is bind to promoter binding of repressor and promoter avoiding the binding of RNA polymerase so there is no transcription happen in the DNA if there is lactose present in the cell means that lactose present bind to the repressor so it get inactivated uh, the, due to the inactivation there is no binding happen between repressor and the promoter uh, because uh, due to the this uh, lack of binding RNA is get RNA polymerase bounced with bound bind with the DNA molecule that that start the uh, gene regulation transcription process here uh, we then after the transcription process uh, what is uh, the uh, uh, la these genes uh, here, the, here we have three genes right that uh, three genes called as lac z y a lac z gene helps to produce the beta galactosidase that beta galactosidase uh, cleaves the lactose into glucose and galactose then lactose uh, lac y this is the galactosidase galac galactoside permease it's a membrane protein it's required for active transport of lactose then a uh, lac a uh, thio galactosidase galactoside trans acetylase it helps to write off toxic thio galactosides uh, this 
is very very important table because uh, this uh, lack without this lack uh, is that uh, lack is that lack why lack k word you can't find any csir question this csir questions uh, uh, they are in the csir question they are rapidly asking the uh, this lack is that gene lack operon this based on this they must ask the question so uh, please understand uh, the concept otherwise otherwise you can't uh, ex uh, that uh, you can't answer the questions in the csir in the in this part uh, this uh, lack is said having uh, ability to it's uh, produce the gene uh, produce the gene uh, lack is it the gene it can able to produce the beta galactosidase this enzyme helps to cleave the lactose into glucose and galactose lac y gene is a galactosidase per galactoside permeates helps for the transport of lactose lac a it's a thiogalactoside trans acetylase it helps to write uh, write off the toxic thiogalactosides uh, once I, once uh, here uh, you can see the uh, easy concept of control elements here uh, this is the uh, cap binding site promoter operator lag is a gene lag y and lag e gene uh, this uh, able to produce the messenger rna okay uh, here this cyclic amp is bind at the uh, portion of rna polymerase this is the binding site in here there is low uh, lactose is available there is low glucose level so uh, the lac genes are strongly expressed these conditions are very very important uh, this is may be not visible to you i will send the ppt uh, from that you can understand because now i will just tell the words please understand here first case low glucose lactose is available if there is a lactose available word okay they mention the lactose available okay there is a lac lactose presence means that repressor gene get activated and that uh, rna is uh, inactivated uh, sorry repressor get inactivated so there is no binding happen between the repressor and promoter so rna is directly bound to the promoter region here you can see this is the promoter region rna polymerase is directly attached to the promoter so the gene uh, is strongly expressed second case high glucose okay there is a glucose means uh, due to the uh, in the previous step itself i mentioned lactose is converted into uh, glucose and galactose by the lac is a gene if there is a gene strongly expressed means that genes are easily produced in the uh, gene in the cell that produced genes are converting the lactose into glucose and uh, uh, galactose so the due to the conversion there is high glucose in the medium uh, this high glucose mentioned uh, uh, in this step itself you can understand that are uh, that lactose is break down so there is unavailability of lactose uh, that unavailability means that repressor gene easily bound with the promoter that pro uh, so if the promoter re promoter and repressor binding happen means happen in the cell there is no gene expression the third case there is low glucose and low lactose available in that process itself there is no gene expression then high glucose and uh, somewhat lactose available in the medium in that case uh, at very low level gene expression happen in the medium that is the um, that is a need based one if there is low glucose and lactose available in the medium that in the cell means that promotes the slow level of gene expression uh, here this is this concept is very very important thing uh, here you can understand one more thing in that uh, cap 
binding site the okay, cyclic amp binding site here you can understand one thing if there is uh, high low glucose i mean lactose high lactose available in the medium the cyclic amp uh, a cap protein binding happen at the uh, cap binding site okay and another case here another case low glucose in that low glucose case it uh, binding is happen so they are asking the questions like that uh, that uh, based on the cyclic uh, that uh, amp cyclic amp binding if there is low glucose that cyclic amp binding happen to the uh, gene at the cap binding site once again i mention if there is low glucose present in the cell that a uh, promo that uh, accepting the cyclic amp binding at the cap bi cap binding site all right so it's not accept uh, it's uh, another uh, easy way of conversion uh, because somebody uh, some somewhat they are you for your understanding only i am included this image uh here you can glucose positive and lactose positive or uh, that's that is the last case in the previous image in this previous image here glucose and lactose so they are present so lack lack low expression is happen at the gene there is no glucose only lactose are present so that shown high expression and uh, it's a activator protein that activator protein is a cyclic amp here the activator protein cyclic can be bound with the rna polymerase then lack uh, glucose high lactose is no present in the medium cell so there is no expression uh, here then another case is a uh, less glucose and less lactose so there is also no uh, expression so it's a overall concept about the lack of pron uh it's uh, based on the glucose that we are discussed uh, about the galactose uh, the lactose right lactose based activation till now we are discussed the lactose based activation of lactoprone in this uh, case we are going to uh, um ex discuss the glucose regulated lactoprone this glucose regulates the camp level this camp level regulates the lactoprone this is the concept key concept if there is high glucose concentration means uh, there is low camp that's low camp avoid, uh, does not bind with the dna there is no lactoprone activation but in the low glucose concentration that if there is a high means there is low camp high glucose concentration in the cell that is low camp or uh, another case low glucose concentration in the cell means that promotes activates the adrenal cyclase so it produces higher camp the higher camp in the medium from uh, it helps to bind the camp at uh, cyclic camp at the cap binding site it promotes the binding complex cap and Uh, CAMP complex. That this complex formation help us to promote the trans start this transcription in the lactoprone. This is the C cyclic AMP based uh, uh, level. It's a uh, first case. In this first case, they mention right mm, uh, that uh, okay CAMP activation. Uh, in in two way we can explain. one is the lack lactose binding based regulation and uh, this is the glucose regulation based uh, regulation uh, this glucose regulates the cyclic amp cyclic amp regulates the lactoprone in this uh, uh, it's a comparison uh, in the lactoprone is uh, having st- uh, they having the uh, repressible uh, lactoprone is a inducible gene tryptophan is a repressible gene carbolic system is happen here anabolic system in the tryptophan 
containing uh, lac operon containing the three gene structural gene tryptophan having the five structural genes the repressor proteins are activated in the lac operon in the trip operon the repressor gene get inactivated high lactose turn the transcription of process here uh, the high tryptophan of the transcription process lactose is a inducer here the tryptophan is a co-repressor and uh, two types of gene regulation that is a positive and negative control here tryptophan we have only negative control uh, CAMP is necessary for cap to switch the transcription process in the tryptophan there is no need of uh, CAMP the another concept is the arabinose concept this arabinose uh, operon in this arabinose operon we having the uh, its short form is a r a uh, operon okay uh, it's also having control reach control gene uh, control site and structural genes uh, this uh, this uh, operators it having uh, structural gene is uh, a r a b a d this is, this is the positive control for a r a r a operon it's not uh, discussed in many places it's uh, somewhat the researchers are doing many researches in the uh, a r a operon it's a uh, starting butting uh, conditions in the study in all uh, arab this all arabinos levels are related to uh, relatively high that is uh, if there is a higher quantity of arabinos means that reverse transcription process happen in the dna if okay it's an image it's a pictorial representation if there is uh, arabinos in the these are all the arabinos uh, binding site uh, if there is a presence of arabinos means that arabinos helps to uh, activate the uh, uh, CAMP this signals activate the CAMP that uh, CAMP and cap binding happen this uh, will regulate the RNA polymerase activity and start the uh, transcription process okay in other case if there is no arabinosis my arabinosis present in the medium that uh, AC are uh, ARAC manomers formed in between manomers are formed here you can see that own receptors are bind between each other that here ORAI and ORAO2 get bound, bound get interacted so there is the uh, DNA loop formation happen in the cell DNA this DNA uh, avoid the binding of RNA polymerase to the active side that promoter region uh, so that is no transcription happen uh, this is the basic concept it's saying with uh, the first one is the binds uh, the arabinos binds to AR, ARAC proteins break the DNA loop okay it's if there is a binding happen means it's a break the loop then RAO2 and ARA ARAI. In additionally, the ARAC protein and molecules bind to the ARAI. It's a uh, absent is one. So that uh, binding of C A cap and camp happen on this DNA. It promotes the RNA polymerase to produce the mRNA that trans start this transcription process. In the absence of uh, arabinos the binding happen between the ac monomers so that regulates uh, that avoiding the binding of rna rna polymerase to the promoter region so that is no transcription happen these are all uh, next uh, after the understanding now we are studied what is the how it can be able to produce the mrna that is the operons then and apart another concept than operon is the single copy G DNA and repetitive DNA and the single copy means that is a small repetitive means is a higher one it's a uh, once uh, occur once in the gene the repetitive DNAs are occurred many times in a gene 
then function is the uh, for single copy of gene single copy of gene is re responsible for make the protein uh, the repetitive dnas are not translatable uh, then identification is the uh, it's uh, used to prof not used for profiling here uh, that the repetitive dna helps to for the profiling length is unique uh, sequence is a short then repetitive sequence is a short that is repeatedly rapidly have uh, in occur in the dna that is a small portion of region so that is a non -tra translatable but the single copy of gene having the long sequence but that having the uh, that can be translatable uh, this uh, single copy of gene is a exon repetitive dna is called as a intron here uh, interruption happen in the gene how what is the interrupted interrupted means that intron region present over the sequence that this in this uh, uh, this interrupted genes are sliced sliced means the removal of intron that removal of intron happen this uh, the normal dna the uh, usual dna is made up of introns and exons uh, exons main, uh, please note it down exons are the coding region introns are the non coding region regions exon one means that is responsible region for the uh, one protein that the gene is responsible uh, transcribed into one protein uh, and uh, this uh, uh, proteins are uh, this genes uh, exon 1 exon 2 are interlinked with the intern region this intern region is called as the repetitive dna okay uh, this uh, it is a basic concept in this exon and introns uh, after this uh, interruption interrupted gene consists of the intern exons we can modulate the uh, this uh, step that is the RNA splicing it can occur in naturally and also uh, in laboratory modified condition this RNA during the RNA splicing the introns are removed from the particular region that is called as the it's a normal interrupted GNA that having the DN intern and exon uh, is that pink region is called as non coding region that is the intron a b c d that uh, green color regions are the coding region that coding region is called as the exons uh, this is the process ha what happened in the uh, rna after the rna splicing that is the interruption process after the interruption interruption process in the first step we can see the R introns one and two but uh, that uh, pre, uh, pre uh, after the RNA synthesis that uh, introns are removed from the uh, uh, sequence because uh, this R during the RNA synthesis the transcription process happened right that RNA polymerase are not uh, uh, from the not uh, that synthesis the that non coding genes no, not non coding genes are not able to transcript that not able that is not allowing the uh, not specific for any gene protein so that is no transcription happen so after the rna synthesis that uh, uh, introns are removed that is the mrna the introns removed uh, sequence is uh, a gene region is called as mrna this gene is helps to the protein synthesis that is the translation process uh, then uh, this uh, now we are studying about the gene in this gene we have different families okay based on the structure we can uh, divide it into different uh, family based on the function we can uh, divide it into the different family in the uh, in the structure uh, similarity based on the structure similarity you can tell uh, the uh, family uh, for example uh, previously we studied the lac z gene lac uh, a lac z lac y right that are all the lactose lactose based uh, uh, activation they are doing the lactose based activation so that is called as the lac z lac y so that are functional based families 
ओके नेक्स्ट अनदर वन इज द स्ट्रक्चर बेस्ड आर एन ए पॉलीमरेज जीन दैट इज ऑलसो नीड फॉर दि दीन आर एन ए पॉलीमरेज डी एन ए पॉलीमरेज दीस आर आल दि पॉलीमरेज हाविंग द सेम स्ट्रक्चर बट द फंशन इज वेरी पॉलीमरेज वन इज फॉर रेस्पानिबल डी एन ए पॉलीमरेजेशन अनदर वन इज रेस्पानिबल आर एन ए सो दट स्ट्रक्चर इज इट्स समोट सिमिलर that from polymerase uh, uh, that structure so that are called as the families that we can divide it into uh, two types in the family structure based family classify the families uh, uh, in oh, histones alpha and beta globulins these are the gene families this gene families are having large confirm conservative domains this domains are called as the h l h b z zip box transcription factors this families are short conservative motifs that motifs are made up of the particular amino acids uh, first one is the dead box that having the uh, a aspartate glutam glutamine and alanine aspartate this is four amino acids present in the dead box then another one is the wd that is a tryptophan and the aspartate repeats this uh, why this concept is important in the gene modification we want to understand the uh, group uh, family oh, okay if you if you are doing on gene modification means we want to understand the similar family genes uh, some somewhere somewhere in the world they may did with a similar family of gene that in sense help you, help you to understand okay this uh, uh, family of genes having this nature so only they are need that uh, understanding the how we can understand uh, the based on this uh, regions conservative regions we can understand then um, it, these are only multi gene families so this multi gene families means uh, this um, region this uh, yeah, rrna and globin gene uh, globin genes uh, these are having different genes in the family but they are doing the same functions uh, this is for just information information uh, just refer this slide after your uh, uh, the session okay now we will enter to the stop this chromatin and condensed chromosomes structure okay this chromatins are condensed and to form the chromosome this chromosomes having different region telomere centromere arms what is telomeres this telomeres is the chromosome tip this tips are uh, repeats it's act as a short of biological clock okay it's a short of biological clocks it's a uh, uh, it's twit uh, twitel down at each mitosis process what is centromere it's a middle portion of the chromosome that's high condensed region there is no relaxation of chromatin it's highly condensed region it's uh, rep it's repeat it's having the repetitive sequence region where spindle fibers are attached okay is a uh, part which is important in the uh, spindle fiber attachment then the chromosome having the heterochromatin and euchromatin what is heterochromatin euchromatin that uh, heterochromatin having the highly condensed region euchromatin having the less condensed region the see uh, silenced genes are present over the heterochromatin but genes are highly expressed in the euchromatin the gene sir uh, at region is high in the uh, heterochromatin so there is poor genes gc content is high in eukaryotic euchromatin there is rich in gene this uh, the strain is light uh, here uh, you do to uh, if you are doing the straining of chromatin straining is darker in the chrom heterochromatin region 
stainings are lighter in the euchromatin region okay this is the uh, overall output of this chromatin parts uh, apart from this chromatin understanding you all know the uh, uh, the transposons what is the role of transposons this transposons helps to uh, insert insertion of gene it's kind of insertion uh, this uh, as only they are mentioned the they are insertional sequence why we need it this insertional sequence this insertional sequence are helps to uh, carry the dna from one gene to another gene it's invert the repeats so the nucleotides in the uh, reserved uh, orientation that in the particular transposition region, region is inverted repeats this is the overall function you can see here this is the transposition region this transposons are uh, bound with uh, transpo transposase binding then synaptic complex is formed this uh, form is cleaved from the normal dna target uh, the normal dna that cleaved uh, transposons are bind to the target dna here the target dna binding happen mm, the, so that uh, transposon easily insert the uh, the, the gene to the target dna that trans the trans strand transferred here you can see the insertion of the transposon okay these are all about the uh, basic things of the uh, cell uh, chromat what happen in the gene regulation after the understanding of uh, dna chromatin gene now we want to understand the cell cycle cell cycle it's a, it's a very vast one uh, now i am just explain the basics alone it's a refreshment then only, then you can understand by yourself i will send the material to you please understand the concept okay first thing is the uh, cell that cell division cell division we having the uh, mitosis process in the mitosis process itself we have four different phase that is the prophase metaphase anaphase telophase then that cytokines activations happen and it promotes the g1 phase s phase and g2 phase okay these are all the checkpoints in the checkpoints itself they mention each and every phase uh, which are having the role uh, the that end of the growth phase g1 uh, it's a very very important thing then after the ending g0 phase it's a resting phase it's a first checkpoint second checkpoint is uh, dna synthesis checkpoint it's happen at the s phase then mitosis checkpoint this checkpoint is the m phase that point it's uh, important the cell growth checkpoint is g1 phase uh, one time once i am repeating that cell growth checkpoint is a g1 phase dna synthesis checkpoint is s phase mitosis checkpoint is m phase it's a very very important in this point then uh, how it is mitosis happen what is the steps first is the interface it's a uh, it's a normal uh, thing in the cell then prophase the chromatins are separated metaphase that uh, arranged in a center point anaphase it's uh, divided uh, divided from the centromere anaphase after that it's a telo telophase that uh, chromatins are uh, divided cells are divided into two it's a meiosis process once again that uh, meiosis process also we want to understand this me in this uh, meiosis process for the interface one the the centromeres are present in the cells uh, outer surface uh, nucleus nuclear having envelope after the breakdown of nucleus envelope that uh, chromatins that in uh, chromatins are uh, get uh, uh, they are divided from the coil then the formation of uh, uh, centro the tubules micro tubules uh, in the in the cell then that are attached to the 
uh, centro, that centrum yes that are arranged in the centers that uh, after the uh, arrangement central arrangement uh, the telomeres are attracted towards the um, chromatin so that formation of homologous chromatin cro homologous chromosome separation you can, here you can see the uh, homologous chromosome separation the pair of homologous are split ups uh, steps are chromosome duplicates formation homologous chromosome pair i exchange segmentation then uh, that uh, line up then the split up these are all the step by step process happen in the cell one is interface prophase uh, pro metaphase metaphase anaphase telophase the order is very very important in this uh, interface we have 43 46 chromosomes then it's divided into uh, 92 in the pro met pro phase after the meta in this metaphase they are nucleus has dissolved and the nucleus the microtubule attached to the centromere in the pro metaphase microtubules attached to the centromeres then chromosomes align in the middle of the cell in the metaphase anaphase is a separation of chromosome pulled apart in the telophase microtubules disappear then in the cytokines that cells daughter cells are formed so each cell carries these uh, 46 chromosomes uh, here in this uh, difference between the uh, mitosis and meiosis in the mitosis prophase metaphase anaphase in the cells division uh, but the meiosis prophase metaphase anaphase and meiosis phase is also there these are all the uh, cell division methods in the difference in the meiosis meiosis mitosis in the mitosis it's uh, produced genetically identical it seems mm, but meiosis is produced genetically <coughs> unique gene uh, here uh, that cells are diploid cells then in the meiosis in the meiosis is having haploid cells it takes place throughout the organism's life cycle but meiosis happens certain time alone mitosis involved in the asexual reproduction the meiosis happen in the sexual reproduction this uh, again on the import uh, explanation please uh, refer this these are all the checkpoints i mentioned earlierly too uh, here you can see the enzymes what are all the enzymes are involved in the checkpoint in the uh, first point in the checkpoint one uh, that uh, site this is the cyclin a2 e2 e1 e2 and cdk1 and 2 cells are very important that uh, it's uh, it's uh, regulates the gene with the cell growth another thing is uh, is cyclic a cyclin a2 it's prov it's prevent the origin of uh, the replication the dna that is the checkpoint 3 uh, this cytokine or uh, the cyclin uh, and cdk compounds are very important in the whole cell cycle each and every step they are uh, providing the uh, expression provi providing the uh, information to the checkpoints in the checkpoint uh, the if that checkpoints uh, helps to uh, activating the G1 and S phase that is a growth phase uh, then another one is the spindle checkpoint another one is the G2, GM phase uh, it, uh, if there is checkpoint happen at this particular cyclin is acted the chromosomal replication it stop the cell replication of chromosome if there is a blocking happen at the after the replication of chromosome that uh, avoid the, that may be a affect the cell division if the it is cda affects the cell division there is the lack of g1 phase these are the sequential process the major role playing uh, uh, checkpoint compound is cdk and cyclin this uh, checkpoint here they mention uh, if they are blocking the uh, checkpoint 
uh, growth phase G1 means it's a uh, check for cell size, nutrition, growth factor and cell damage. This is very very important thing if you block the restriction point that is that G1 phase that checkpoint is the G1 phase means it affects the cell size, nutrition, growth factor and cell damage. If the checkpoint happen at G2 point, G2 means that affects cell growth and cell DNA replication. If you want to avoid the DNA replication that we want to disturb the DNA replication, you want to stop the uh, pro that uh, block the checkpoint G2. The another one is the spindle assembly checkpoint. It's the M phase. Uh, that M phase it's a uh, check for chromosome attachment to the spindle. Uh, if you uh, final final step it's something uh, the spindle assembly checkpoint. It's a attachment of spindle to the uh, fibers. Okay. Uh, next is uh, here. It's all about the human mammalian cells. This kind of uh, cells. Okay. Uh, we are discussed about the genes in the mammalian system. Uh, this all having this kind of separations. But next we are going to discuss about the animal cell growth, how we can express the animal cell uh, that microbial cell growth. This microbial cell growth is uh, um, happens bit, uh, depends on the uh, utilization of nutrition in the environment. This uh, ex, uh, that respiration is also endogenous respiration and exogenous respiration. This depends on the mechanism of uh, coefficients can be uh, in the uh, mechanism of the well that microbial metabolisms help uh, that is only utilization of substrate and produce the product and store it in itself and produce the biomass. In this case uh, in this uh, first uh, first that want to stress tolerance stage. Uh, first that environment want to adapt with the nature after the adaptation it's shown higher energy limitation okay it's uh, after the adaptation it's uh, possibly there is no stress so it say it's easily producing uh, the uh, effic effective higher efficiency shown higher efficient then after that uh, that some period the production of uh, product is high in the high in the bacteria so there is no rapid growth in the cell though there is no need to uh, no utilization so there is uh, that uh, growth is uh, getting uh, uh, slow uh, the rate the biomass yield is slow the growth rate is become high this is the growth curve uh, in, in the cell uh, microbial growth uh, it's a uh, overall uh, cell cycling process first the chromatin uh, the origin of replication from the origin of replication DNA is get replicated in the one cell after the replication cells are uh, two DNAs are formed in the cell that are get divided this is non overlapping cell cycle then overlapping cell cycle means there are in uh, uh, one DNA origin of from the one origin of replication two DNAs are formed that formed two DNAs having the uh, two uh, that origin of replications in these cells that are divided into multiple cells. Another was the developmental control that are developmental controls are uh, it depends on the that a uh, mot motiles motile for the devel developmental process helps to uh, combination of various cells here you can see one uh, if this is one kind of cell this is one kind of cell they both are getting interact each other and they form the uh, uh, form the next generation these are all one kind of the developmental control in this cell division by asymmetric generation this uh, this is the asymmetric generation means uh, this uh, DNA uh, the in after the DNA uh, dispatchment that uh, that are uh, segregated and uh, uh, 
stored uh, it's placed only at the end that is the old poles uh, that old poles are uh, divided that new poles are formed this in this region proteins forming stable multimeric structure and anaf uh, amorphous aggregates here you can see the uh, that aggregates this aggregates are having the proteins that proteins helps to produce the uh, that uh, genetic materials after the proteins post translation of the gene the proteins that forms the uh, uh, the, the forms the self assembled that are self assembled in the uh, nature this uh, proteins are undergone uh, after the post modification that aggregated proteins are formed into different proteins this different proteins are uh, helps uh, <coughs> coupling with the cell cycle associated assembly asymmetric okay that uh, proteins are actually activating the uh, gene then some environmental stress are happen in the cell that environmental stress are uh, uh, make the microbe into starvation and its food it gives antimicrobial activity or it's may be affected by the host cell or it may be affected by the cell surface signaling uh, why this due to the microbial uh, in, uh, environmental stress the optimum growth condition if can, it, the environmental stress may happen with the temperature ph o2 level and nutrition uh, due to the this uh, uh, environmental stress that growth rate may be increase or it may be decrease if that microbe is adapted to the environment that uh, uh, that adaptation period that production is low after the adaptation that production is become high that production of uh, uh, the metabolites are high okay uh, i think it's uh, running out of time tomorrow we will uh, continue the session unit 3 that is a fundamental process now i am just uh, refresh some slides uh, this is a dna replication process in this dna replication process uh, that dna first it's a dna uh, this dna is uh, divided but uh, divided at particular temperature and forms uh, attachment of polymerase and helicase to the Uh, that region after that replication that dividing of two strand uh, that rna primers are added to the added at the end of old uh, okasaki fragments this okasaki fragments are uh, formed uh, in the dna due to the rna polymerase activity that lagging strand only having the okasaki fragment leading strand don't having the ok okasaki fragments here okasaki fragments are, uh, means that uh, uh, sequence produced a new dna sequence that having continuous nucleotides but in this uh, leading strand that is the individual uh, rna polymerase alone in the uh, strand in this uh, in each uh, the important thing is a replication fork replication fork is this y shape form this uh, replication region that is called as the replic uh, uh, the replication fork that uh, uh, this uh, r dna helicase is cause the two part of dna strand it's uh, this only helps for the the helicase is help for the uh, unwinding of dna so it's a first step in the dna replication the the that replication fork it's in y shape this formed by the replicate helicase enzyme after this helication the replicants happen that uh, replicants helps to to adjacent region this each replicants has uh, origin okay this uh, replication having some uh, that may be get uh, some wrong way that is the replication error that is the dna error the basic excision error is happen at the level of the atp binding process in the dna replication or uh, that uh, another thing is a nucleotide excision there is a lack of nucleotide in the uh, dna 
homologous recombination due to the homologous recombination there may be the uh, that uh, dna repair happen then another thing is the homo non homologous region uh, apart from the homologous interaction that uh, at the end of the joining itself there the repair happen so this are all the uh, re recombination repair so you know, just i am explain here here in this step if they are producing the rna primers right that is maybe the mismatching of old strand that is the one possibility then there is uh, in the uh, that is here you can see the image here atp binding site it may it may be the uh, error site in then another thing is after the um, during the synthesis uh, during the synthesis of strand that rna polymerase activity uh, happen that step itself there is maybe the wrong the another one possibility is homologous here during the synthesis homologous they may produce unwanted nucleotides another thing is non homologous uh, it's everything is okay after the synthesis during the ligation at the end point that uh, that may be some error happen okay why we want to understand the error it's uh, some uh, change i'm making here this enzymes are involved in the R uh, dna replication uh, rna polymerase 3 its replication enzyme polymerase 1 its repair the enzyme repair enzyme involved in the removing errors and ligase its uh, uh, binding rna polymerase and then rna polymerase helps to uh, get uh, uh, rna polymerase 3 started this RNA without this RNA primers that uh, uh, this RNA primers alone start the uh, replication process uh, that RNA polymerase 3 activation then RNA is H it removes the RNA primers then um, helicase it start the unwind the duplex then uh, stability then why we want to study ab all about the DNA replication if you want to do the recombination first step we want to understand the replication so only we are mentioning that okay what is uh, that we are discussed this recombination in the unit uh, four it's uh, that uh, develop um, that uh, biotechnology methodologies the first we are taken the one dn one agrobacterium that agrobacterium having ti plasmid that plasmid uh, that plasmid having uh, uh, region in that particular region we are recombinant the uh, new gene that new gene uh, carries the plasmid inserted into the target uh, that um, plant that is injected into the plant that gene incorporated to the plant gene this is of the recombination steps then replic replication fed uh, fidelity here you can see the replication fidelity uh, this in this replication fidelity it makes uh, uh, ex, uh, the replicate DNA replication exhibit high degree of fertility making during the process it's extremely rare because that RNA polymerase th 3 only makes one mistake at uh, 10,000 10 power 8 base per speed that uh, this uh, fed that fidelity means it's uh, some uh, it's rarely happen it's uh, happen because of rna dna polymerase 3 enzyme uh, the main three reasons are there that is the mismatch pair do not hydrogen bonding properly in their uh, 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 in the structure there is no there is the uh, hydrogen bonding mistake Another one is the uh, DNA polymerase active site only accommodated properly matched base, right? So that another uh, somewhat there is unwanted that mismatch in the nucleated that DNA polymerase uh, activations not happen in the DNA. Uh, then extra chromosomal elements. This extra chromosomal elements are helps to understand uh, the new recombination technology. This molecules are uh, replicate uh, with the desired G DNA. This uh, center one is the desired unit that uh, uh, phage is uh, releasing the DNA. This is the external chromosome. It may be the helps to 
uh, form the factory of feeds this extra chromosomal genetic material this uh, essential for not essential for normal life if you are doing the any, any genetic genetic engineering technique we are can use the extra chromosomal genetic elements these are all the some uh, basic repair me methods that's may be the base bar mismatch or single strand dna breakdown or dna attack the attack means that uh, uh, unwanted uh, enzymes or uh, compounds bound in the cross link then double strand breaks these are uh, the four type of dna damage one is base mismatch another one is single strand break dna attack that is the intra strand cross linking another thing is the double strand breaking in this step how we can the repair the dna dna the damage having different type four types that repair type is uh, if there is a mismatch mismatch dna we can rearrange the uh, pairs the nucleotides if there is a single strand dna break happen means base excess excession repair uh, you can remove that particular strand and uh, with the uh, replacement another thing is a uh, intra uh, intra strand cross link some chemicals are over in the strand so in that case we can we want to nucleotide excision repair we want to remove the particular nucleotide and transcription coupled global genome repair it's help for the intra strand cross link for in uh, the for the damage by intra strand cross link is repaired by the mechanism transcription coupled global genome repair the another one is double strand breaks this double strand breaks are uh, repaired by the homologous and non homologous end joining this techniques are very important uh, they are asking the question like uh, the how we can repair the double strand dna breaks that double double strand dna breaks uh, repaired by homologous recombination or uh, non homologous end joining that damage is how it is caused uh, that is another thing that uh, dna is caused by the replication stress or it caused by chemotherapy and ionic radiation or oxy or uv light polyndromic hyper hydrocarbons and chemo and uh, some chemotherapical methods the all things are happen in different manner uh, that uh, it's uh, explained with the image here that homologous site specific recombinations are you know, you are studied in the fourth unit and uh, 13th unit itself here i am just uh, that site director mutagenesis happen with the insertion insertion of new gene this is a one gene it's uh, the blue color is a new one that blue color one is incorporated uh, with the uh, this recombination this at the end uh, that's divided the x and y and in, in between they added the new gene this is the insertion then deletion here in this step it's uh, formed one the new formed one we want to delete it means you can delete that is site specific recombination then inversion we can invert the uh, recomb uh, invert the gene by using the uh, replicate uh, the recombination step uh, tomorrow we will discuss the unit 3 part a remaining part of unit 3 it's a very very uh, interesting topics in the unit 3 because that is all about the genetic basic information that are very important so only i am stopped this uh, session today now now i am going to end this section thank you everyone if you have any queries please post in chat box Okay, main source for arabinose in the cell. Okay, uh, this arabinose so is a is a carbohydrate. It you it's uh, taken from uh, the 
ex uh, that glucose channels uh, it's uh, normally found in uh, normal food bacteria and uh, or, or in the normal human itself they are uh, having in nature the arabinos that is in small quantity uh, that arabinos is are uh, it's a five carbon sugar so it's uh, uh, taken from food uh, that uh, carbohydrate foods itself Uh, sometimes they are using arabinos uh, the in plant tissue culture they are using the arabinos as uh, uh, in the cloning it's possible ma'am because uh, it's uh, helps for the some proteins products protein expression in uh, uh, e coli system so the it's helpful for the cloning no uh, uh the dead box and uh, pino box is very why because uh, in the dead box we having i mean i'll let you know uh in uh in this this uh, tet box only having proteins for uh, use the proteins from atp that uh, uh, that you atp utilization that uh, tet box it's not uh, having specific protein regions but uh, that uh, in the pino box we have the specific uh, that uh, nucleotides that is the uh, the six nucleotide region that is differ from the tet box the tet box it depends uh, explain with the proteins that four, four four proteins are there in the um, sequence in a uh, no box that having six nucleotides this uh, it's uh, this nucleotides are very specific the tata at this uh, region is only found uh, that uh, this uh, pino box only found in the promoter region alone uh, classification of tna polymerase we have uh, i think that is the question Uh, in this classification, we have uh, three different, uh, different five different types uh, in uh, prokaryote that is uh, that differ from eukaryotic and prokaryote. In eukaryote, uh, they are having more than fifteen uh, type. Each and every is well defined and uh, having various role. Uh, in for you that prokaryote, there are five polymerase are there. among them that polymerase 1 and 3 plays a major role that 3 plays a major role in a replication uh, in eukaryotic uh, 15 uh, of dna polymerase are there in nature okay, thank you everyone uh, i'll send the ppt to your mail ids and uh, google classroom tomorrow we will discuss about uh, uh, remaining part of unit 3 and uh, unit 4 uh, no unit 11 thank you everyone